Hey, the folks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended family. I know things can be hard at times and, you know, it's hard to see the, the light at the end of the tunnel, but keep pressing on because you know beautiful things just heading your way. But that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, show me a live review. I love chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback or content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact and give how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you are, uh, if you feel the videos are giving you good vibes or good information, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through trying times and need uh, assistance with spiritual guidance or they need confirmation or validation towards their life path or soul purpose, please go ahead and share them while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, let me see, ooh, this is beautiful meditation music in the background. It's called Prayers, Prayer Music to Manifest Love, Ask, Believe, and Receive, 639 Hertz, Harmonized Relationships Attract Love, and I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Ocas, keep walking through the storm. Your rainbow is waiting on the other side. I saw this, um, I think it was on uh, this morning on Namaste group chat. Um, it was on Namaste group group page on uh, Facebook. I love going on there. They have so many, you know, positive posts. You know, I try to share on my um, my group page as well. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. I was like, this is like my third, you know, fourth, fifth video. And I didn't get, uh, I said it like two other videos ago. Um, I have a group page uh, called the Hayoka Spiritual Journey. Um, it's like I was trying to get a platform for Hayokas to go ahead and, you know, get to discussions. I've been doing it for like two weeks. So it's start, it's starting to get good. Um, we just share different experiences we've gone through. It's you know during trying times that we can be able to see blessings through those times. You know sharing links uh, about different things that might happen in the world that might affect us mentally, spiritually, or emotionally, or you know just funny memes or you know, videos that you know can just help somebody to their day or whatever you know if you want to go ahead and join you can go ahead and you know send me your request and I'll go ahead and you know request you know accept your request and stuff like that but yeah um we can go through many many trying times in our lives where you know it can feel like we don't see the light at the end of the tunnel you know we go through a lot of things in life and you know we try to understand you know it's like you I know you hear it all the time you know that little angel on the side of you be patient. You gotta have faith in the universe. Have faith in yourself, and you be like, "I'm so tired of hearing that." You know, I got like, you know, I get there every now and then. You have to understand, you know, even though they keep telling you your blessings are on the way, it is. But you have to go through a lot of trials and tribulations. You know, if you're not, because you feel like there's times I'm like, "Oh, okay, I'm ready." to receive whatever it is you receive blessings every day because it's like if you know you still have another day you know there's another day for you to be able to make up for uh, the things that you you feel like you lost or the things that you need to be grateful for you know you have to show that attitude of gratitude you know it could be the littlest blessings you should be grateful for because there was a lot of, you have to understand there's a lot of people going through worse than what you're going through even though yours might be really bad you know there's always somebody out there who's two or three times worse you know I always thought that the things that I went through were really bad which it was but then when you can see somebody else's situation that you know made me look like Heck, I feel ungrateful, you know, because there's a lot of things that can really be bad. And it's just like, you know, it's all how you look at the situations that you're in. If you know, if you keep complaining about all the situations you're in, there's times, you know, I, I talk to my kids and I tell them, yeah, I'm tired of going through the things that I go through. Or, you know, there's times where, you know, people don't want to believe me or people have stepped away when they found out who I was related to and they just didn't want to see that. You know, it, it got 
you know, I got tired of going through stuff like that. But you have to understand there's people that are like that, you know, around you. And there are some people that do believe you. And there are some, some people that are really encouraging towards that. And there are some people that are not going to be so nice about certain situations. But there's always how you feel about yourself. What, what do you validate towards yourself? Do you understand the journey that you're on? My mom, and it was just like, you know, going through stuff today. I was telling my daughter, you know, about there's times, it's like before my mom passed away, and she was just like, when you start finding out truth, there are going to be some people that won't believe you. There will be some people that might, you know, step away from you, might get jealous of certain things just because of who your dad is, or, you know, there might be people that will cop an attitude with you. And I'm just like, why would I go through all this? You know, I'm trying to understand, mom, what are you trying to tell me? And it was just like so many different things. I wasn't able to comprehend what she was putting on me but it was like she was forewarning me about this stuff and it's just like it brought me back to that moment you know it was just my mom you know just referring to the things that she told me about that I was gonna go through and this is around the time she was dying and it was like so much she wanted to tell me but you know in her eyes she was like my daughter's gonna have to leave me when she finds out all these things she needs to find out about herself and she always told me you know no matter what you know what goes on just remember I always wanted you to know who your family was it was never me wanting to keep you away I want you to understand that and my mom's eyes were watering my mom is not that that sentimental person you know what I'm saying so the only time I've ever seen my mom cry is when my sister passed away uh, from cancer uh, back in 90 I think it was 91 or 92 so it was like all those different things that happened you know I never really see my mom get emotional so it's just like for her to do that, I already know that must have been something very serious. So it was just like a lot of things, like I told y'all before, I suppressed so many things, you know, growing up because it was very painful, things that I really couldn't talk about. Or if I did, I got punished for talking about it. So it, it's just like going through all the different things, you know, in life, it might seem hard. It might feel like, if, am I ever going to be able to see that silver lining? They keep telling me that it's there. You know, it's all about how you look at things that you're going through. You know, yes, it could be a hard time on dealing with the things you deal with. I mean, there are so many times I connect with people that are going through things, especially with their families and stuff like that. And I always tell people, and it brings tears to my eyes because I know it can be hard if you're going through stuff. But it's just like I say, if it's something that y'all can talk about and you can press aside, go ahead and do that. I said, when I when I talk about stuff like that, it's because my mom, my adopted mom, the only mom I ever knew, is no longer here physically. You know, my mom that gave birth to me, you know, had a hard time with her and my dad. So it's just like, I don't know if it's going through her head that she felt guilty for the fact that my father passed away. And I know, you know, I never got a chance to meet him. So I don't know if she felt like on top of the painful situations that her and my dad constantly got, through, you know, went through, you know, was she holding that, you know, that in, inside? Or was she feeling bad about the certain situations and just like, I don't, my daughter might hate me for this. I was like, I don't have any hatred towards my mom at all. You know, my mom was young, so it's just like, I always just wanted to meet her. So it's just like when I hear people that are having qualms with their family and stuff like that, I've said, if it's something very serious, I understand if you keep yourself separated. But if it's something that y'all can come to an agreement with or you can, you know, talk about, y'all express your feelings and y'all try to, go ahead and mend things, do that, you know, because it's like, I'm, I'm in that, you know, I'm in that situation where I don't have any family, you know, I have family that out here I really would love to meet, but I can't meet them right now, you know, there are certain things that are going on in my life, you know, and that's the most painful experience I have to go through, that's why I allow people to know, you know, if you got that chance and your parents are still here, make that work, you know, if it's something abusive or something like that, I understand, you keep your business, keep your way and let them do theirs but if it's something that you know you can work out do that because it's like they can be gone any day and you never want to have that that's the last situation y'all went through is because of something that y'all you could have been very petty so you know it's like a lot of times I go through things and I see them as lessons and blessings yes it's a hard time there's days that I sit here and cry you know and I'm just like why they have to be this way why does it have to be so hard and you have to go through things like that at times to where it will test your faith. It will test your strength. And, you know, there's many people that have came to me and tell me, you know, Rosalind, 
you know, I don't understand why I had to go through this, why it has to be so hard. Because when you're strong like that, it has to be hard just to prove you, prove to you how strong you can be, how much, you know, we, we're like Timex. You gotta, you gotta take a lick and keep on ticking. But it allows you to see what strength inside of you, 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 you never have. Because it's like when this first came about, I thought I wasn't going to be able to live through this. It was just like, this is, you know, I've been through really bad stuff before, but this was like worse than anything I've ever been through because that truth was very ugly, very, very ugly. But then when I can see the beauty that came out of that truth, you know, there was a lot of times I used to let people walk all over me, you know, because I just wanted them to be in my life. I just wanted to be liked. You know, I wanted to be loved where I thought was love because I felt like, you know, if they love you, they wouldn't go off hurting you or anything. You know, people have, you know, nobody's relationship's perfect, whether it's relationship, friendship, whatever. It's not perfect. It's not going to always be sunshine and rainbows. But though these situations has taught me to love myself, being my own best friend. There's times you have to be by yourself. So you can, you know, you want that love, but you have to be that person that loves yourself. So you can meet that person that can love you just the same. You want to respect, you know, you have to be able to do all that on your own. Because there's a lot of times that I didn't want to be by myself, you know. But then it's just like with this situation, it allowed me to know myself on different levels that I didn't even know existed. So it's just like when you're going through different things and you're going through that storm, knowing that storm is not going to last forever, you have to be able to dance through those certain situations. So when that sunshine, you won't really be dancing it up. So allow yourself to know these sun, that you have to be able to appreciate the rain to be able to get the sunshine. You know, when it comes to different situations, when it comes to people, when you're dealing through hard times, that gives you that chance. You know, it's upsetting when you can say, well, I've been there for this person, this person, that person. But when I needed somebody, nobody was never there. And, you know, that's a hurtful situation. But it's allowing you to be able to see the people that are not meant for you in your life in the first place. So it's just like, yeah, that's a hurtful situation. But that also gives you that spotlight on them people. They're, they're going to run. Okay, they're all about themselves. That showed your character. It's like, don't get mad at them because they showed you who they were. You know, a lot of people, they, you know, people love misery. There's a lot of people that had gone through things and their life seemed miserable. But they would love to hear my situation just because the fact is they can sit up here and kiki and laugh and all that stuff. When they see that, oh, her life is bad too. It's not as perfect as I thought it was. But it, it was just at that point allowed me to grow, allowed me to see people for who they were, you know, who people really had my back and who didn't, you know, people, it was just like, they're envious about my situation, but didn't want to see me blessed at the same time. So it allowed me to just back up and be able to be very choicy about who I let in my life. When I, you know, what things do I put out there? What business of mine do I, you know, keep to myself or somebody I can actually vent to? These taught me a lot of lessons that I'm appreciating that I went through. So it's just like you have to understand when we have different storms and stuff like this is supposed to awaken the things that we need to know about ourselves, no matter how ugly it is. Because when you finally get through all these things, you're going to be telling the universe, thank you for allowing me to go through these, you know, these hurt and pain, painful situations, these sad situations, these times when I had to be by myself. Because number one, you're not by yourself. You still got your spirit, guys. You have people that, you know, that has passed on it. That are still there by your side to hold your hand. You know, you might feel that breeze or, you know, those times where I told you about your chills. You know, those are confirmations. But they're also your spirit of your loved ones to let you know they're, they're standing by your side as well. So it's just like when I see my, myself, even though I might be by myself right now physically, but just being able to look at my life right now, knowing how I'm helping a lot of people you know, come to terms with the things that they're going through, knowing, you know, it might be a hard time now, but there's going to be a time in your life when you sit back and be grateful for all those times you don't fail, those failures, your mistakes, because you learn from all these different things you're, you're currently going through. And you're going to be so grateful for all these experiences because it woke you something that you weren't able to know that you had within yourself. Because there are so many people that, you know, that I'm helping out right now and I can see you know y'all changing you know and i mean people like why well, i'm scared this and this and that i said you even see how you put yourself out like that you do you i mean you're very strong people 
and it's just like when I first met you there's a lot of people that's been on my channel for over a year there are some people that only know me for three or four months or even six months or greater and y'all done did a whole 360 since the first time I saw you you know so it's just like you have to be able to appreciate all the bad times be able to get into the good because you know you will, you will never know about all those good times until you go through the things you went through because it's like you know we experience a lot of things and it can be really messed up but it, then it allows you to know you know when it especially when it comes to people okay that lets you know when you have those good times in your life some of them people might try to come back. I mean, I have people that I done took off my Facebook. There's people I done stopped talking to, you know, blocked their phone numbers and everything. I'm like, I don't want to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm grateful for the experience. I ain't mad at you. But no, this was that time I had to go. It was just like, it was a hurtful situation for me to have to go through when people started finding out who my dad was. I thought people would just care. You know, I went through this. But there's a lot of people that shun themselves away from me when they found out. You know, now I see when people go through these interviews and they could have been somebody who was, you know, singing on YouTube. You know, there's some a couple of folks, you know, that started off at YouTube and then, you know, end up being one of these mega superstars. They're singing and stuff like that. And, you know, I've, I've seen some interviews with them and they said, what was the worst thing going through when you when you first started this, when you first made it? I lost a lot of friends, you know. And it, that happens at times, you know, because they think that either you're becoming, you know, some people do change their attitude. I've seen some people I have, you know, I have certain friends that's out there in the spotlight, you know, and they act like they, you know, never suffered in their life. You know, things never was bad about them. They forgot where they came from. That's one thing. Just learning from looking at their, you know, point of view. You know, I don't I said whatever you do, that's what you do. But it's how you treat people. You know, my mom always told me, you make sure you treat everybody the same way when you're going up. Because God forbid, if you come back down, you still might have to end up bumping heads with one of those folks that you, you know, you stepped on down the way. So I said, you know, I, I use what I use, you know, for example, for my life to let people know, you know, yeah, I was on food stamps. Yes, I was on Section 8. Yes, I had been evicted out of my house a couple of times. Yes, I, you know, had a car repo. You know, I ain't going to forget where I went through. I ain't going to forget where I came from either because it got me to where I am today. You know, so I'm glad I went through all those different things. There's a lot of people, they'll be embarrassed, you know, about going through all those things. And they try to keep stuff like that covered up. I said, trust me, when people want to find some dirt about you, they'll find it. But with me, I'll go ahead and put my dirt out there anyway. So nobody ain't going to be able to find that. You can't get paid off anything about my stuff because I already got it out there. So it's just like I appreciate all those situations because I knew I did what I had to do to survive and, you know, take care of my children. But, you know, I'm glad about all these rainy days because it allows me to be able to heal, being able to see things that I truly needed to pay attention to, knew who was by my side and who wasn't, you know, being able to know I can always count on myself. You know, you can't put your faith in man, man will disappoint you every time. But if you get put your faith in heaven and you put your faith in the universe, you know they got your back like I said on the other video if you know that God has your back you don't got to worry about who is against you because that's the only person that's going to be important is the man upstairs so allow yourself to be able to go through these storms and know that as soon as you get finished going through them your rainbow will be waiting for you right around the corner so I will see you on my next video um and give a post notification shout out to Lost Puppy and Gabriel much love to you my star pupils I love y'all I love all y'all but don't Y'all be having me laughing throughout the day, especially Lost Puppy, because the things you be coming out and saying, Lord Jesus, bless your heart. <laughs> so much love to y'all. Like and subscribe. Uh, drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate so I can go ahead and give you another post notification. Shout out. Give me a thumbs up. Share. Like and subscribe. Like I said, know that you were truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. And I'll see you on my next video. So, you know, send up as much positivity as you can towards people. You never know your kind words can really take them a long way. So I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.